Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, it is now Wednesday morning, and although hard to see, hopefully, I don't know, behind us is Denver, we are heading north. So come along with me on my vacation. We are going up to Casper, no, not going to Casper. Well, kind of, we are going through Casper. Um, sorry, I just did a bunch of navigation and stuff, so my thought is there still. Uh, we are going to Yellowstone, and we are gonna check out Old Faithful, been there once before, kind of quickly, but we're going to spend all day Thursday there, do some other fun stuff. So come along with me, won't you, on this fun mini vacation, and uh, yeah, so we'll have fun. You guys didn't even know I was on vacation this week, did you? That's kind of how I intended it, honestly. But anyway, come along with me, enjoy, let's go check out Yellowstone and see Old Faithful. Okay guys, so we are almost to the Wyoming border, try and get a, a shot of the uh, sign if there is one, but... Interesting, if you have AT&T or Cricket, as we do, you will not enjoy the fact that most of Wyoming is not covered by AT&T network. AT&T owns Cricket, by the way. So, we brought along a backup phone that's on T-Mobile. T-Mobile does cover the entire state, so just a little interesting tidbit for you. Okay guys, here we go, crossing the state border. It's Wyoming, and it looks a lot similar to Colorado. Actually, it's just been beautiful drive. We're not going on the main interstate. This is kind of a side route. That's why the road isn't that big up here. So, okay, we'll check in with you in a little bit. Let's see, Laramie, 25 miles. That's our next turning point. Okay, guys. So, I bet you've never seen this before. A McDonald's with a hay bale outside dining room. Ah, Wyoming. This guy's a little far from his ocean, I think. Yeah. So, at McDonald's here getting a little bit of provisions. Oh, I was gonna tell you a story, but I don't have time, I have to wait. Okay, sorry about that. What I was gonna say is, I guess I don't need this on anymore. It's weird doing everything right now. Traveling is just weird, but. So, I'll have to show you this vehicle we got as a rental car showed up to pick up the vehicle last night and all they had was mini was minivan various minivans so we're like great that's awesome so we have uh probably not one of our first trips but uh without the kids but back when we definitely needed a minivan we didn't have a minivan and now that we don't need a minivan this is when we get a minivan so that just goes to goes to that figures so we're in the middle of nowhere wyoming Definitely no service with AT&T and we're just stopping off for a bite of food. Do have a sliver of service with uh, T-Mobile in case anybody needs to get a hold of us. And uh, yeah, we're just making our way. It's a beautiful day. Uh, look out the window here, you can see gorgeous, gorgeous weather. And definitely enjoying the air conditioning because it's hot, hot out there. Our ETA right now is 7.07 .07 p.m. We need to get back on the road and try to improve that a little bit. Hey guys, see some cattle here, side of the road, oops, mom's having the kids get up, dad's over here, he's kind of pissed, oh, it's time to get up you guys, alright guys, we're getting close to the Idaho border now. you guys it is about 8 30 p.m we are now in island park idaho checked into the room here's like the front office office no front entry area couch did bring the collegiate in case you've been and the drone i do have a drone i don't know if i've told you guys that or not too bad it's illegal to fly at most places so i don't think we can use it at uh, yellowstone tomorrow did bring some records you guys have already seen this by the time this video airs the collegiate and just getting set up here to do a little recordology on the road in case you've been wondering why the weird backdrops and all that good stuff don't leave home without your sanitizer so it's been kind of weird cleaning all the surfaces all that fun stuff but yeah 
got all our supplies, everything ready to go. Brought our own bedding. It's kind of bizarre, but fun. So yeah, we're gonna get some sleep, and tomorrow's the big day of going into Yellowstone. Okay, so got the coffee inside of us, which is good, good place for it. And now we're headed out to Yellowstone. We're gonna go up, nip into the corner of Montana and then down in through the north side of the park, see Old Faithful, all that cool stuff. So it's beautiful out today, but this is a weird place. Why is this weird? Well, as you can see, that's Idaho. I'm not in Idaho. What's next to Idaho up here? Montana, but I'm not in Montana either because it's really hard to see. That's Montana. So between there and here, I guess I'm between two states? I don't know. But I figure I'd take you with me into Montana. So let's go into Montana together. So, let's see if you can see the sign better now. Okay, a little bit better. That's really shady, sorry. But that's Montana, trust me. So I'm guessing once I step past the sign, we're leaving Idaho, technically, and going into Montana. So here we go. That's probably the edge of Montana. You've probably never seen this before. So I'm in Idaho, and here I'm stepping into Montana. Okay, I'm in Montana. As you can tell, it looks a lot like Idaho, actually. Look, <laughs> it's Idaho. So guys, sorry I don't have the camera mount with me on this trip, so I'm gonna have to do all this handheld. So we're driving through Montana into the north side of Yellowstone in Wyoming, and we're coming into this kind of cool cloud-looking thing. So I thought I would take you along for the mysterious journey. As you can see, things back towards Idaho look pretty clear, but up here, sort of ominous. So, have you ever driven into a cloud before? If not, you're about to. Because here we go, into the cloudy murkiness. Just so you know, context-wise, we're driving into West Yellowstone, and then from there back into Wyoming, where the actual Yellowstone Park is. And here we are, guys, in the cloud. Interesting. West Yellowstone. Here's what it looks like. Welcome to Jellystone. Jellystone National Park. Time to buy our pass. Yeah, these are some of the uh, unfortunate souls, including this guy. He met with the front of our awesome van. Check this out. Beautiful. So here we are at Old Faithful. This parking lot is just for Old Faithful. As you can see, it's huge. These attractions are about hmm, 40, 50 miles in between each other. This park is just massive. So Old Faithful was just going off when we got here. You can't see it from here. It should be going off within the next 90 minutes or so. So yeah, fun stuff. Here is our vehicle, by the way. I wouldn't really recommend these. They don't handle that well. Okay guys, so we're here at Old Faithful. This is like basically a giant attraction. This part in the park has its own lodges. Those people are all waiting to see Old Faithful. By the way, here's Old Faithful. It goes off about every 90 minutes, I believe, and steams constantly, but the actual eruption happens, I think it's every 70 minutes, I think. So, but yeah, as you can see, we got tons of people here. Most people wearing their masks, not everybody, but they all sort of gather here. And like I was saying before, all of the different attractions within Yellowstone 
20, 30, 40 miles apart from each other. Just huge, huge space. But yeah, here we are, the grand attraction. Okay guys, so we just saw Old Faithful. That's the second time we've been here and seen it. So the third eruption, I guess, we've seen. And this one, we picked the wrong spot. So it was kind of blocked by steam. As you can see in the video you just watched. Usually you see those white plume of um, water going up and you can see it a little bit, but it wasn't the best angle. Would stay another 70 minutes or whatever it is for the next one, but it's so packed up here. And we have a couple other things we want to see still. So let's go to the next place, see what we can find. Here we got a little one bubbling. Smell the sulfur pretty strong. Big one behind it. Beautiful day today. So explain this one to me guys so God provides the water source the water source leaves to the source and we as humans provide the drainage kind of odd you have to be a moron to stay here oh wait that's Moran cool buildings Zoltar is practicing social distancing and keeping his mask on, which is good. The only thing I don't like about this hotel is this door is like stuck tight. Like I literally, ugh, that's how hard it is to open it. This little stupid black tab thing is blocking the works and it takes like all your strength to open this stupid thing up hey everybody so it's the next day and we are headed home we have a massive drive back into denver today it's going to take us probably a good i don't know how long would you say ten and a half hours but before we do that we're going up into yellowstone one more time because there was this prasm prismatic springs that we want to see that we didn't get a chance to so right now we're coming into West Yellowstone uh, which is on the Montana side of the west entrance and we're going to try it one more time and then we're going to exit through the south end of the park and head back home okay here we are at prismatic springs it is atmosphere is such that everything is really just kind of steaming in place there's a pool right there so a lot of big plumes as you can see just amazing a lot of people here today
springs finally. Then I realized that I needed to go to the bathroom. Too much soda, no, actually not soda. Too much coffee and juice this morning. And I was like, really feeling it. So I was like, no problem. I know a seldom used bathroom that's clean, that's remote at the Old Faithful site. So we went over to Old Faithful about five miles away, went in there. By the time I walked in there, I, my bladder was about to explode pain, like absolute stabbing, pinching pain, some of the worst pains ever in that regard. And I hobble into, my wife is like, just go, just go. So I run in, I hobble in there, go up to the bed, bathroom door and it's locked, closed for repair. So I turn around and they have like a family bathroom. Like usually I don't use these, but today I don't care. And the guy's like, excuse me, there's a line. Turn around, there's like 20 guys in line. So I had to wait like another 20 minutes. Thought I was going to die. But anyway, feeling much better now. We are on the road headed this time to the south entrance, which is about 70 miles from um, Old Faithful. And we're headed back to Jackson, Wyoming and headed home. And here we have Lewis Waterfall. And it is another gorgeous, gorgeous day here in Yellowstone. We're about 70 miles from the south entrance, headed into Jackson, Wyoming. Stopping for a little pit stop here on an Indian reservation in Wyoming. Check out the color in front of me. Isn't that beautiful? Just amazing. And only a couple of hours ago, we were in the midst of lush jungle, not jungle. <laughs> Lush trees, forests, all that good stuff. Here we are, headed through Wyoming. Although technically right now, not in Wyoming and not in the United States, we are on an Indian reservation. First day over there, guys. Okay, guys, we're still in Wyoming, the state that never ends. You can see some bugs on my windshield. Yep, tried to wash them off, didn't work out so good. So yeah, we still have a good three hours driving ahead of us. You're lucky if you're watching this because the next clip will already be home. Okay guys, we are back home now. I have been in four states and basically in the car for the last 12 hours. It's been a blast, but it's one of those days where this morning th seems like a day or two ago. So it's time for bed. Got everything unpacked from the van. Whew, it was a good but quick trip. And I'm glad I could take you guys along. I hope it was enjoyable for you. I hope it was something different and fun for you as well. Never done a travel log before, but it was pretty fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for now. I'm headed to bed. Have a great night. We will see you tomorrow.